Hello everyone. Welcome to the online course of uh, Nano Electronics. In this module five, uh, we will discuss about uh, the transport of charge carriers in two-dimensional electron gas, which is formed in nanostructures. In previous modules, in module four, uh, we have discussed how uh, two-dimensional electron gas is formed in heterostructures. Anyway, under quantum confinement, it is possible to move carriers in a plane parallel to the interfacial plane under the influence of electric field. If the movement of uh, charge carriers, that is the movement of electrons, if it is in parallel, uh, this type of conduction is called the parallel transport. Uh, it is also possible to have a transport in a direction perpendicular to the confinement plane uh, that is due to the mainly due to the tunneling effect. We also discussed the tunneling effect in uh, module 4. That is the movement of electron from one point to other through the barrier. So if the barrier thickness is very uh, thin, uh, most of the electrons will penetrate through the barrier. Anyway, the movement of electrons through this barrier is called the tunneling effect. So in tunneling effect, uh, the movement of uh, electrons will be perpendicular to the interfacial layer. Uh, such a transport is called the perpendicular transport. So first uh, we will discuss about uh, the parallel transport. Uh, we have already discussed uh, the movement of electrons in a plane parallel uh, to the interface in a quantum well is called uh, parallel transport. So typical example for the parallel transport is uh, nothing but the charge transport movement of electrons in MOSFET through the channel. Through the channel. So we know that in MOSFET uh, the electrons will move from source to drain if, uh, if there is a sufficient VDS and if a channel exists then uh, the movement of electron is parallel to the interfacial layer. So during this uh, transport uh, there will be uh, different uh, collisions that means there will be collision between these charge carriers between these electrons uh, that is called the scattering. Um, there are mainly four types of uh, scattering mechanisms involved in parallel transport. They are electron phonon scattering, then second one inter subband scattering, and the third one the surface scattering, and the last one impurity scattering. So first uh, in the scattering mechanisms, uh, electron phonon scattering. First one is electron phonon scattering. So what do you mean by a phonon, a single phonon? So phonon is the very minute energy level of uh, lattice vibrations. Phonon is the quantum of lattice vibrations. So due to this vibration, there can be uh, interference of electrons and this vibration that it will result the scattering. Uh, electron phonon scattering in nanostructures is very similar to uh, that occur in uh, bulk materials. Uh, according to the uncertainty principle, the change in momentum, that is delta P, which is uh, greater than or equal to H by A. It is H by A. So what is A? There is a width of a two-dimensional quantum well. We know that in two-dimensional 2D quantum wells, the width of the well will be very, very small. It is less than uh, uh, 50 nanometer. So when we uh, make uh, the quantum well thin uh, that is A is decreasing then the change in momentum is going to increase because delta P is H by A when A decreases change in momentum increases when the change in momentum increases what will happen the collision increases the probability of the collision increases that means the scattering increases so the interaction is especially strong in two-dimensional quantum bells. Then the second uh, scattering mechanism is inter subband scattering. And this is uh, the scattering due to the transition of electrons in a subband or between two subbands. What is that? So consider a two-dimensional uh, well, quantum well. I'll look into this picture. And here, we know that the algas, aluminum gallium arsenide is a white band gap semiconductor when compared with a gallium arsenide. So when a gallium arsenide is sandwiched between algas, uh, 
a potential barrier is formed also a quantum well is formed at the center so what will happen the electrons in the algas will move towards the well region move towards the gallium arsenide or the electrons are trapped get trapped inside the quantum well uh, uh, these electrons can move freely within this well so these electrons uh, can uh, exist in discrete energy levels uh, here we can see two energy levels are there e1 and e2 if the concentration of electrons in algas is on the higher side what will happen more and more electrons will um, try to move towards the quantum well so first of all uh, the e1 is get filled because e1 is a lower energy level first lower energy levels are get filled after that uh, remaining electrons will move towards the higher energy level e2 at this situation uh, electrons can move within the subband as well as between these two subbands when the concentration increases the movement increases so when the movement increases what will happen the chances of that is probability of collisions increases that means the scattering increases this type of scattering that is due to the movement of uh, electrons between subbands such scattering is called inter subband scattering so next uh, third type of scattering mechanism is surface scattering so this uh, surface scattering is uh, due to the imperfections in the junctions at the interface so real interfaces in uh, multi layered structures are generally rough in atomic levels such uh, rough surfaces will lead to reflections with change in moment again uh, refer the previous uh, figure so the electrons will uh, trapped inside the quantum well anyway if the barrier thickness is very small if the barrier is very thin the electrons in the quantum well try to penetrate through the barrier this is called the tunneling effect so the electrons in e2 will have a high energy level so these electrons the electrons in the e2 will vigorously try to uh, move through the barrier they will try to escape through the barrier so the tunneling effect will be on the higher side for the electrons in e2 when compared with e1 because e1 will have a lower energy level so here if the interface is very rough what will happen suppose uh, consider the interface uh, have some uh, rough layers what will happen uh, during this penetration process it cannot uh, uh, penetrate smoothly uh, due to this imperfection some of the electrons will reflect back and very few electrons will penetrate through the barrier if the barrier is smooth most of the electrons can penetrate through the barrier if it is rough it will get reflected so the reflections due to this uh, imperfections is called uh, scattering due to this imperfections is called surface scattering so look into these points uh, the third point the, the scattering is not significant in modulation dropped Uh, quantum wells or in hetero junctions in hetero junction surface scattering is uh, on the minimum side on the lower side in the case of most structures interface scattering becomes more important because uh, the oxide is down thermally uh, the bonding between this oxide and silicon is uh, not a perfect type uh, it is a rough surface so the surface scattering is uh, will happen and generally it will happen in most of the most structures mosfets and the interface is not perfect as in uh, modulation dropped or quantum wells uh, the next point as the width of the well decreases the electron wave function penetrates deeper into the potential barrier that is the electrons are more exposed to the interface roughness and the corresponding scattering increases what is that 
already uh, discussed that uh, explained that because uh, when the thickness of well decreases what will happen we can see more and more discrete energy levels in the wells so uh, here we can see only two energy levels e1 and e2 the energy levels of e2 is on the higher side when compared with e1 so the electrons in the e2 will vigorously try to penetrate through this barrier that means interaction of electrons in e2 and the barrier is higher when compared with e1 so the interaction is on the higher side means the scattering also increases the so as explained here as the width of well decreases the electron wave function penetrates deeper that is interaction increases that is the electrons are more exposed to the interface roughness and the corresponding scattering increases so here the electrons in e2 uh, will have much more uh, scattering surface scattering than the electrons in e1 because the electrons in e2 uh, vigorously uh, try to uh, escape to the barrier when compared with electrons in e1 so scattering will be higher on the electrons in e2 so the fourth uh, type of scattering and that is impurity scattering that is uh, very common in mosfets and uh, three dimensional devices uh, if you increase uh, the impurity levels one advantage is that we can increase the number of free electrons uh, at the same time uh, it will result uh, the impurity scattering there is uh, ionized and neutral dopant scattering is dominant at uh, low temperatures in low dimensional semiconductor structures as the impurity increases concentration of impurity increases impurity scattering increases in bulk uh, structures the impurity scattering is dominant for uh, especially in heavily doped layers anyway impurity scattering is uh, low in modulation structures or in it is uh, low in uh, heterojunctions uh, because uh, even without adding impurities we can move electrons from uh, wide band gap semiconductor to the narrow band gap semiconductor we have already seen uh, if you form a junction between algas and gas uh, without giving uh, external electric field or without adding uh, any electrons the electrons will move from algas to gas so in uh, two dimensional uh, quantum wells uh, this impurity scattering is uh, can be neglected is very low so we have discussed uh, about the different types of scattering mechanisms involved in parallel transport then we will move into the next topic that is hot electrons uh, hot electrons so from the title uh, hot electrons it is energized electrons the energized electrons are called the hot electrons generally the average thermal energy of an electron at uh, thermal equilibrium is given as k into t when electrons are accelerated by high electric fields they are get uh, they occur very high velocities that means they are get accelerated now the distribution of electron energy corresponds to a higher electron temperature are called effective temperature at uh, t that is t uh, effective temperature the average uh, energy of hot electron that is accelerated electrons are uh, is given as uh, e is equal to 3 by 2 k into t it's an important point please note uh, the average electron energy of hot electrons is 3 by 2 k into t under thermal equilibrium the average uh, average energy of electron is k into t anyway uh, the energized electrons are called hot electrons uh, when you energized uh, when you uh, energize electrons um, that means uh, when you apply external electric field uh, the electrons are get accelerated so what will happen the scattering increases so we know that 
uh, again look into this uh, same old picture uh, in the quantum well there are two discrete energy levels e1 and e2 and the electrons um, will move in wave like uh, characteristics it will exhibit the wave like characteristics according to schrodinger wave equation the electrons will move uh, with a defined amplitude and phase so in e2 also uh, so wave function of e2 have greater penetration into the barrier that is already discussed so when you apply external electric field what will happen the interaction of electrons uh, in the quantum well and the barrier increases even without applying electric field the electrons will try to escape from the well through the barrier that is interaction is much higher on higher in it uh, if you apply uh, external electric field the electrons are get energized such electrons are called hot electrons so the interaction again increases as a result uh, the scattering of electrons in e2 increases but in a lower energy levels this scattering will be very minimum as a result velocity of electrons is greater in lower subband so conclusion is that uh, when you apply external electric field the electrons in the quantum well are get uh, accelerated so at a certain point after a certain point uh, the interaction between the electrons and the surface increases so the total scattering increases due to this hot electrons okay thank you